here we are, post-trib moment number 39. And again, he pulls his little game. Oh, there's two mentions of tribulation in Romans. So that proves we're going to go through the Great Tribulation. It's so absurd. I mean, it just... This guy is such a, a shallow student of Scripture. I mean, come on. How many times does this have to be exposed? It is never called the time of great tribulation or the great tribulation or the tribulation as a title. Tribulation is a description of what is going on. Christians have tribulation. Tribulation saints, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble saints. I'll say it that way to be more accurate. Those people have tribulation. It's a description. It's not a title. You know, again and again and again, this little liar keeps pulling the same little trick. Oh, it says tribulation in Romans, so therefore we're going through the Great Tribulation. <laughs> what a stupid argument. But let's listen a little bit here. Believers, he calls us the elect, and he says... Okay, see another thing he did there? Oh, it says that we are the elect, so therefore that proves that we are the same elect that's mentioned in the Gospels. In conjunction with the second coming and the time of Jacob's trouble. Again, the term elect is used interchangeably for saints in any dispensation. Okay, Saints are used interchangeably for, for saved people in any dispensation. See, he's just taking stuff out of here and out of there and just making it all into one big mess. He doesn't know the Bible. Listen to what he says here. We're joyful in our tribulations. We glory in tribulations. In our tribulations, we are more than conquerors. Look up those 22 mentions. None of them supports a pre-tribulation rapture. That doesn't make any bit of sense at all. How does that do anything? How does it support a, a time of Jacob's trouble? You know, rapture at the end of the thing. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, this guy's just off his rocker.